Now, for a spot of context, I think it's mega important that you all know there is not much in this world that will get me out of bed this early on a Sunday morning, especially in the cold, horrible drizzle. Now, the old saying goes, when something was good the first time, never go back. Be that girlfriends, be it jobs, be that vacations. But also, there's an exception to every rule. Sometimes when you go back, it could be better. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson, welcome to this channel. Today we have the brand new TaylorMade Burner Mini Driver, and this is a driver which probably gives me the most excitement of any of the new releases this year. You see, the reason being, I've always been a fan of Mini Driver technology. I've always been a fan of a driver which can help you guys get the ball in play more. And I was also a huge fan of the old school TaylorMade Burner. As you can see guys, we are testing this both out here at Woolley Park Golf Club and in here in the Golf Sun Simulator. Guys, they're the first couple of shots I've hit inside with this mini driver, burner mini driver, should I say. And it's fair to say, I absolutely love this. Wait till you see the adjustments that we can make to this and wait till you see how it compares to the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus driver. And if that first shot is anything to go by, this could find its way, weasel its way, edge its way into my golf bag for 2023. Also guys, I do have a special secret at the end of this video, which does pay homage to the old school TaylorMade clubs. So make sure you don't go anywhere. Now that was my God's honest first ever shot with this new Burner Mini driver, and it sounded pretty phenomenal. It's gone down the middle of the fairway, exactly where I would want it to go. And this thing is the most technology packed mini driver you will ever see. You see, it does have twist face, just like the TaylorMade Stealth range. It also features a K sole, which is designed to help you get a little bit better turf interaction, which I love the idea of, because sometimes you might want to hit this off the deck and we will test that in the Golf Sun Simulator. It also features the speed pocket. It also features a lovely carbon crown, which actually has, you can't tell in the video very well, but a little copper fleck in that carbon, which again, just pours out and nostalgia, pours out memories, pours out. If you were around when the TaylorMade burner was released together with its bubble shaft, we don't have a bubble shaft in this, by the way, a lot of people were um and ah if it would have it. We don't have it, but we do have a UST Pro Force 65 M40X shaft, which does feel quite nice, actually. We also have the Super Stroke grip with the TaylorMade copper logo on. I really like that as well. But I'm yet to talk about the party piece with this club. I'm yet to talk about what I really, really, really love about it, which no mini driver has had before. You see, oh, look at that. These are my first swings of the day. It is mega early on a Sunday morning. I've come out here so I can bring you guys this video on the Sunday afternoon. That's two fairways out of two. And that seemed just a little bit too easy, if I'm being brutally honest. Why do I never put one of these in the bag? That's the question which we need to ask. Okay, so we've hit two fairways in a row, but the creme de la creme or the pièce de résistance, apart from the head cover, which is, it's got a sock on it for a start, but it is the best looking head cover I've ever seen. And there is a little bit of a secret with this head cover, which again, I'm gonna show you right at the end of this video, so don't go anywhere. But yes, we do have adjustable loft on this mini driver, which mini drivers of old have had. I've got 13 and a half degrees here. You can get it in 11 and a half degrees, which I probably would do actually, but no fear because I can put this down to 11 and a half degrees anyway. So it is gonna play around the loft I want. I didn't mind those two tee shots, but it's nice to have a little bit less loft, maybe get a little bit lower and a touch more distance potentially. Now there's also another factor of this driver, which you can change, which I absolutely love. This does look so good lofted down. And that straight away is a lower ball flight, guys. I'll throw both ball flights on screen in a second. You can see just the difference. And that is running past the first one. So just taking those couple of degrees off there has helped me just get it out there a little bit further. This driver isn't designed for distance. It is designed to help you get it in the fairway a little bit more and potentially lower your scores. But what if we could turn it into a little bit of a beast? And by a little bit of a beast, I mean a monster. Because that's what we all want, isn't it? We all want a monster that can help us get in play. It can help us lower our handicap. And it also looks this cool in the bag. 
Guys, we will test it as well today against the TaylorMade Stealth 2 driver and just see what differences are if you are thinking, should I go mini driver, should I go Stealth 2 if I want to stay in the TaylorMade family. Also, guys, I hope you are enjoying this content both out here on the golf course and in the Golf Zone Simulator. If you are enjoying it, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I would love to get to a quarter of a million subscribers by my birthday. That would make my birthday. That's end of July, by the way. For anyone that wants to send a cake. Yeah, I don't need cake. Maybe send a health bar or something instead. In fact, getting a friend to subscribe and like this video would do. Now, rather interesting, when we look at the results of these drives here, and you can see that the first two Bang smack in the middle of the fairway, two really, really good drives. As soon as I knock that loft down a little bit, tiny bit further, a little bit more left, has that been affected by the face angle? Probably not, probably more affected by my swing, but the fact it's gone a little bit further is great. It shows you can kind of get that a little bit more out of it if you want, but wait, there's more. And this is so cool. Because you see, mini drivers of old did have adjustability. You could adjust the loft so there's nothing new there. What is new, is this. The new Burner Mini Driver does feature a heavy 13 gram weight, a lighter 1.5 gram weight, which you can adjust to change CG to adjust spin rates and launch angles. I love the fact they put that in this driver, like literally love it. And it's perfect for this hole. You see, I hate this hole. Sorry guys, but I just don't like the tee shot. I always hit it left, there's a lake on the left. I don't like it. We've still got it in 11 and a half degrees. This is in the heavyweight back setting, so the 13 gram at the back. That should be the more forgiving higher spin. And I might just leave it at that, to be honest, because that's probably the best driver I've ever hit on this hole. It's not going to be as long as a normal driver. The shaft length is 43.75 inches, so you're not going to get the club head speed you would get with a full length driver shaft. The head is now coming in at 307 cc's, so all of a sudden these mini drivers are starting to become a little bit less mini. But I do honestly think that is just tailor-made catering for their audience. They know people like mini drivers, they know people are gonna buy mini drivers because they always sell out, but how can we make this better? How can we make it probably a little bit more workable for everyone, but still have the charm? Get this out eventually. I'm trying not to lose these because uh, I have done it in the past. See, the weights do come all the way out, so that is worth noting if you do buy one of these, they're not kind of sliding or anything like that. Okay, as you can see, the heavy weight is now at the front. That should shift CG forward. It should reduce MOI. It should reduce spin rate. So effectively, it's not going to be quite as forgiving. I shouldn't have done that. My phone is in that pocket and I could have broke it. But it might come out a little bit lower, a little bit lower spin. But is it going to be less forgiving? And am I going to miss this fairway again? No. That is gorgeous. Guys, we are testing this for numbers in the Golf Sun Simulator as well, so I'm going to throw in and out of that video. Those two balls are nearly touching. Very similar ball flight. I maybe expected a little bit of a different lower spin, but to be honest, so far, so good. How about a nice low one into that wind? Get it chasing. Ah, oh, see, that's the one that we don't like. That's wet. It was low, and it's, oh, it's not wet, it's short of it. Good. We've not lost a ball. It was low, it was just a pull. And you see, that's often my problem with clubs like this. I try to be too clever. I try to manipulate shots too much. I've hit the fairway twice there with lovely high fades, hit the fairway three times on the last one, and then something triggers in my brain as if to say, let's play a low one. But then let's focus on the positive. I'm taking those on my bogey hole all day long. Yes, please. Okay, a lot of you asking about that K sole. I imagine you are, it's not a live video, so I can't read the comments, but what's it like for ground interaction off the fairway? Now, if you're trying to use this off the fairway, you probably would keep it at 13 and a half degrees. You probably wouldn't have the heavyweight forwards, but do as I say, not as I do. 240 yards out, we're into a little bit of wind. Can we hit a good one? Guys, stay tuned, we're gonna compare it against a stealth on the next tee. I've got that tower, you know, and it's still going to be good. Go on. I can't tell you how bad I struck that, and that is on the green. Running up. Honestly, honestly, I struck that out of where it says twist face. That was so bad, and look at this. Some people honestly think I go and plant these balls in places, and I tell you, if I did do that, I would not be as overweight as I am. That is incredible. So guys, the beauty about the Golf Sun Simulator is we have a luscious fairway, we have a semi-rough, we have a thick rough, and two different kinds of bunker. 
We're now going to go off the fairway with this mini driver. What can we get with it? Just lower ball flight. I've cut that. I've opened the face a little bit. Just thinking I was going to try and... You know, it's not done bad. 250. That is around a three wood carry for me. It wasn't the best strike. Let's go again. 155 ball. That's the one. That off the deck is absolutely massive. Check this out. Oh, two six, two six, nearly 280 yards off the deck. Guys, I'm just going to stay here and keep hitting these all day long on the new Golf Sun Simulator. And this might well find its way in my bag. Oh, I've shut that one down. Now, I told you right at the start of this video, I was going to tell you something mega cool about this burner mini driver, something which probably no one else will be able to tell you. I'm going to tell you just after I've compared it to a TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus down this 18th hole. The Stealth 2 Plus is probably one of the longest, lowest spinning, highest ball speed drivers on the market at the moment. How can it compare to its little brother, the burner mini driver? Well, this is me going after a mini driver. And that is the perfect line. Go, go. I think that is perfect. Again, it was a little bit toey. That is dropping spin off, I can tell visually. And this isn't a test to see if the Stealth 2 Plus can go further because we know it's going to. It's a test to see if we can keep it in play as well. Straight away, this feels longer. I mean, it is longer, less loft. More alien after hitting that all day. But that is an absolute monster. There's going to be quite a long way between those, I would imagine. Wow. This is the question as well. If you do put a mini driver in the bag, what do you take out? Do you take out a three wood? Do you take out your driver? Do you have all three? Then you're lacking in the wedge department. Guys, let's get down there and let's see just what the difference was. And also that mega cool fact, it was to do with the head cover and it is a massive homage to the head covers of old, check this out. When I saw this the other day, I thought this was some kind of joke, but that is obviously, I'll put them on the screen now, the old school tailor-made head covers. I love that. I think that is something which, if you are buying into the old nostalgia, well done, tailor-made. Well done. So aside from that amazing journey down nostalgia lane with the head cover and the club and everything else, I did test this TaylorMade Burner Mini Driver for numbers. And I must admit, I really, really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed the feel of it, the sound of it. Everything about it for me screams a driver that you can keep in play. You can still nudge out there at a decent distance and something which could be good for most golfers. You can see here, I also compared it to the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus Driver. And look at the numbers, I was really pleased with them. I got a good ball speed both off the floor and off the tee. Spin rates did jump a little bit off the floor, as you can imagine, so I was hitting it a little bit lower out of the face. So I dropped a little bit of ball speed and a few yards of distance, but I still managed to keep it in play. I actually hit the TaylorMade Stell 2 really good today, as well as averaging almost 160 mile an hour ball speed, spinning around 2,000, and some of them were really, really long. The average was 284. Quite a big difference there if you are thinking of going between a mini driver and a Stealth 2 Plus. And guys, just as you can see, we did hug this left side with both of them. The Mini Driver, just in the left-hand side of the fairway, the Stealth 2, a little bit further up, opening up that flag to the 18th hole. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do smash that subscribe button. I really hope you are enjoying these reviews, both out on the golf course and in the Golf Zone Simulator. Apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. I love this thing. Goodbye.